Recently, I was lucky enough to visit Cuba and see the classic cars that are there. And this is what this video is about. When you think of Cuba, along with the tropical beaches, rum and cigars, the other thing that it's famous for is the classic cars that are on the island, most of them dating from the 1940s and 50s. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I actually got the chance to look in the garage of a guy who is restoring classic cars to find out how the Cubans do it. It's incredible how many of these cars are still being used. It's like there's a permanent car show on the island of Cuba. It's like nowhere else in the world. The reason there's so many classic cars is due to the unique history of Cuba and the effect of the Cuban Revolution. Before the Cuban Revolution in 1959, Cuba was a wealthy country with a thriving economy. As a result, it had lots of imported cars and the biggest part of them were American as Cuba is only 90 miles off the coast of Florida. After the Cuban Revolution, trade embargoes were imposed on both sides and all trade between the US and Cuba came to an abrupt halt. This meant no more cars or spare parts could be bought. Despite the fact Cuban people were not able to get hold of any American parts for over 50 years, these cars are still going. The restoration of these cars is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the Cuban people. In the face of economic hardship and isolation, they've found ways to keep these cars on the road. Their engineering skills are truly miraculous. To get some more footage of these cars, we took a ride in a horse and carriage around Varadero so that we could pass them a bit more slowly and these are some of the cars that we saw. A 57 Chevy there. That looks like a Chevy from around 1950. Not sure what this one is, it could be a Dodge. Here we've got a Volkswagen Beetle, a 55 Chevy, and that looks like a 55 Chevy Bel Air. Not 
not sure what this one is, but I think it could be a 1940s Willys. Since the revolution, some cars have been imported. You'll see quite a few Larders, I've seen a few Peugeots around and an old Opal. Most of the new cars are now Chinese made Geely cars, like this taxi on the corner here. And this looks like a 1958 Impala. While in Cuba, I was able to take a day tour in a 1955 Chevy and what a fantastic day it was. Our guide and the owner of the car is Yodanis and he'd restored this car over a three year period and now he uses it to provide for his family by taking tourists on tours to see the fantastic sights of Cuba. We had a full day's tour of the Matanzas region and Matanzas city. Owning a car in Cuba is not very common. Less than 1% of Cubans own a car. Yudanis 
took us to his house where he's got a garage that he restored his 55 Chevy in. He's currently working on another car, a 1952 Chevrolet. I was able to see the amazing work that Yodanis puts into restoring these cars. They do not run the original Chevy engines because the parts were unavailable for 50 years and also the fuel costs are too high so we can't run them. The engine that's in his Chevy is a Mercedes diesel. He's done a terrific job of modifying the car and fitting it. It looks like it was always there. He's putting the same engine in his 1952 Chevy so that both of his cars are running the same engine. This it's made in Cuba, the valves. Yeah. Because this this motor have this where the valve goes in and out, you know? Yeah. Was loose, okay? Yeah. So they made from a big valve, mm, new valve. Smaller, yeah. So it's more tight. Now I'm gonna take to another shop and they're gonna put here metal, you know, like um, yeah. how you call that? It's not aluminium, well, it's a weld. Yeah. But this is, is handmade, the valve. Wow. Not handmade, you know, artisan yeah. made, you know? Um, you see? Ah, this is the AC. Oh, the AC, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. This is from the Chevy I told you. Yeah. Okay. Get a motor. Yeah, so yeah. Knee here now we're gonna reduce it here again more. Yeah. And put some acrylic glue with fiberglass. Okay. So in here the uh, the cold air comes here. Okay. So here we will put four round piece of metal with four round stuff with a flexible yeah. pipe yeah. that goes to what you see in my car. So hot air goes inside. Okay. The filter will be there with this green stuff, you know. Brakes, this look at this thing. What, what the hell? So big, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Very big, eh? Yeah. But it's a heavy car, especially yeah. when you put four or five people inside. You need something yeah. good to I have to, to stop it, you know. This is a car. Uh, Metal cutter, I don't know how they call it. I just take it off because I want to remove the motor. Yeah. This, now this is handmade in Cuba, this radiator, for example. This, you you find a big radiator, yeah. so you take it to a certain person and he cut it, and you say, I want it from Chevy 1952. Then you don't need to worry about that. He know what is that dimension, you know. And now the motor, you know, I need the filter, I need to do a lot of work, you know, still. But already start. Fuse box, same. I yeah. need to go to the electrician. It's the same from Chevrolet Traverse 2015. So this one, this guy is going to find all the wire. The brake pump was down here, you know. So we need to put a new brake here. And this also. Yeah. For the handbrake, I will remove the handbrake from here. This is to remove. Uh, okay. So the metal is in a good condition. That's the most important stuff. Um, oh, but I think it's gonna look good in the end. Yeah, yeah, it'll look great. Especially as well as being used as transport, these classic cars have now become quite a tourist attraction. Yodanis was telling me that a lot of cars that had been sitting in garages neglected for years and now being done up so that they can be used for the tourist industry or as taxis. The Cubans are rightly proud of these cars. They are a part of the country's culture and a reminder of their past. They also give a glimpse into the Cuban ingenuity and resourcefulness and help bring money into the country. If 
you visit Cuba, you must take a ride in one of these fantastic cars. Or even better, contact Yadanis and book a day or even a multi-day tour with him. A better guide, driver and host you could not wish to meet. His website details are in the description below.